Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. Folks, today we have got Charlotte Speedway 100 laps in the Allsco 300. And uh, some news. <laughs> Let's take you over to it real quick. So in the last race, short track at Martinsville in the Cup Series, guess what? Touching drivers does not give you a pass. Chris Buescher and Cole Custer are now rivals on that list as well. So we have got our work cut out for us there. Ryan Newman angry. Christopher Bell angry. Matt Kenseth angry. Clint Boyer angry. William Byron angry. So, I mean, it's... Thankfully, Eric Jones and Tyler Reddick are the only two mad, and then we get too annoyed. So I think I've got some ideas and we're just going to have to see what we can do, but it's going to involve some really precise racing, and honestly, it may cost us some some wins or some positions or whatever, but if we're going to do the Cup Series until we have two championships with our own team, these matter a lot. On the flip side, we've gained some friends, which is good, but you see the difference between the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series right now. Granted, we're on our second full season in the Xfinity Series, but we have so many more friends in Xfinity. It's crazy. So anyway, we'll give our focus to Charlotte Motor Speedway, and hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and put down some really good laps here, put down a great race, and put ourselves in a winning position. We're second overall in the points right now, and we need one more top five, and it has to be this race for us to get that $74,000 incentive bonus. So let's definitely put down good work in this one to do exactly that. I'm going to assign the work. It doesn't matter. We'll have a top-tier car for the race, so I'm not going to waste your time seeing that, and we will be seeing you at qualifying. We are legitimately about a second off of pace for the uh, top five, so that's not great. Upgrades to us are limiting our ability. Um, looks like we're about a second off pace actually for the pole position. Ready to go, put down a qualifying lap and, uh, it's going to be strategy and draft. That's going to affect how we do in this race. That's for sure. Here we go through the quad oval for our qualifying lap. We're just trying to keep as much speed in it without getting on that apron. Let it fade up on exit because it can get a little squirrely if you're still putting a lot of input in as your car should be fading up the track. And here we're going to get on the gas a little bit slower. I noticed if I just put it down, we, we have some issues. I mean, this is a, going to be about as good of a lap as we've had. That was way better than what we had in practice. So, wow. You know, it's funny in the last race and you guys were all there. Thank you for being there, by the way. We learned real quickly that we're terrible qualifiers and we just put down four tenths faster than anything we did in practice so that was good Malone, Norton, Chavez, Perez, and Bethel your top five Cost, Graham, Egan, Timurgen, Kane round out your top ten AJ Hale 11th Schildhouse 16th Espinosa 30th Carpenter 31st Mathis 32nd Smith 33rd, Oliviera 34th, Stout 35th, and then Anthony Alfredo, unusual, and he is in the back of the pack. We got 100 laps to figure it out here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and it starts with, well, <laughs> as we just mentioned, Anthony Alfredo, not so fast. Earnhardt Jr. fails technical inspection to the back. Mabalone, pole winner to the front. And here we are in our number 84 satellite Toyota Camry. Nope, it's a Supra. Get it right. Get up through these gears. AJ Hill, right in front of us. Oh, nice. The draft is strong in this one. Oh, that's what we just upgraded. No, we didn't. We upgraded suspension. So we can turn better. And that's important. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. Oh, that's going to be interesting. We got a drafting partner. Not that we wanted one, but... I guess that works. Jump to the inside of AJ Hale. 
Keep it down. Get on the gas to grip up. Casey Kane! He is such a good draft partner. He had a such a, I mean, Talladega, great race. And then, unfortunately for him, it went south as he DNF'd, but he was up there with us. He helped us in the back. And then he worked his way up to the front with us pretty close. Top 10, I want to say, before having troubles. So that was unfortunate for him. I'm not, I'm not handling this well, so I'll let him go. Well, not let him go, but I'm not going to fight him. Um, well, come on. We came off the corner, got a little sticky there. That's on me. I'm going to actually come up the gas a little bit earlier so I can get in behind him. Just kind of hang out. Well, I don't really want to hang out for super long, but I figured if we were drafting, it would help. But he's not, he's not really fast in the turn. We touched the apron, so we slowed down. I was going to say, we are faster through the turns than he is, but he has good straightaway speed. We aren't fully upgraded on the engine. That is a big deal, especially with having top-rated drivers in that group in front of us. That's a huge deal, in fact. We don't have to get a top five in every stage. We just got to get a top five at the end of the race. So that's what we'll focus on. Careful, still there. A nice run. Touch the apron again because I was trying to squeeze down there. There's just not much I can do here. I'd love to push him. I get a little concerned about doing it, though, because contact with drivers is a big no-no. They got to, I mean, there's nothing they can do. This game is four years old, but... Really would have, or five even. Would have, really would have been nice if they had put out an update that would have fixed the rival system. I mean, a little bit of contact. Come on now. I, what I read is any contact at all affects it. So you're bumping someone to give them draft or whatever, negative impact. Maybe not a huge negative impact, depending on how hard you're hitting them, but still not great. I don't know if, like, me having that contact with him is like .01 for the negative or something, but I also do know that working with him right now, we haven't lost this group in front of us, so I'm going to keep doing it. Not doing it in the turn. But we are, yeah, quite a bit faster than him. Just rolling back here, but we are definitely gaining. Egan is now only six tenths in front of us. We're staying in the draft with Kane. Pull right up on him, give him a little bit of a push. And that's going to help bring us up closer. We head into turns three and four. We gained another tenth. That lap, as we are two tenths even, as we are now getting pretty close to uh, having their draft affect us as well, so... That's good. Well, I just ran Martinsville. I'm glad I got my foot just sitting on the brake pedal because I just slightly touched it there to make sure we didn't have any real contact. Ooh, that was crazy. I got out of the gas, as you heard, and we had a huge slot. Like, the car got super loose in the front end. I felt it. But we've also caught Egan and Graham. So hopefully... We'll be able to work around them, get around them. Egan going on the inside of Graham, probably taking advantage of Casey Kane's draft. We're going to give him another little push, I guess. <laughs> Kane goes low, which is good. Opening the door for us, hopefully, to finish the pass on Graham. And then we'll start to try to figure out how we can get around Egan. Maybe a little bump through the quad will help. I don't know. Is he's going to go low. And I'm hoping that with our draft, we'll be able to get around. Ooh, nice. Jeremiah Graham gets into our draft. Oh, but we have too much speed. He can bit more speed in the car, but we're able to push Kane into the turn, and that's working out for him. So that's going to help get us around Egan. 
as we look to clear him down the front stretch. Half down, half to go. This time by. 11 laps down left in bottom. stage number one. Kind of a lot of action as we're working with Casey Kane moving our way up. Bryce Egan is going to jump into our draft, but I don't know if he'll be able to stick with us because we're drafting with Kane. And yeah, we're pulling away from everyone with this. All right. It's been a good, clean, peaceful race so far. Working with Casey Kane to move up to the front of the pack. Look who's up front again after just getting a win in the last race. Eliza Bethel here in Charlotte leads the way. She put some good upgrades into her driver, and it is paying dividends at this point in the season. We're trying to catch up to Lane Tibber again. Looking to kind of use the same technique we've already been using this whole race, which is the draft with Kane, not passing him, just pushing him. It's been working. It has been working. Well, I lost it a little bit there, but we're going to get it right back as we go into the corner. Uh, maybe we're not gaining on lane. Is this where we get stalled out? No, it won't be. We'll figure it out together. We'll figure it out. It won't be as easy, I bet. Oh, we got our big run. We got to take it. Maybe Kane will get in behind us. Come on, Kane. Right up on us. There you go. Oh, for as long as you can, buddy. I need to get to a position to know, to know I can get into fifth place. We've gotten into Lane's draft now. So now my goal is to uh, stay in his draft or work his draft on the straightaway to just even get around him. I don't know, but we're getting a big run again. John Perez, next one up. So he's he's a ways up there. We're going to take a nice little turn on the inside. Get that position, that inside position, and then hopefully, yeah, going into one. We'll back up the corner a little bit so we're able to keep it down. But, yeah, there's the pass. Lane's going to get into our draft immediately, which is good. And with our turning ability, we're going to pull out of it. We are gaining on John Perez now. Not sure how much. We had the draft. That was helpful. He's in the draft with Matt Malone. We've got five laps left in this one before we're through stage number one. A little bit of apron touch, but it's not as terrible here. We've got within two seconds of Malone now, and it's a pack of four up in front of us. I don't know if that car that's dropping back right now, I think that might be Anthony Alfredo, if I'm being completely honest. Feels like we might have some lap traffic to contend with here. We've gained three tenths on John Perez. Not sure if that's because of the lap traffic. Yeah, that's Alfredo right there. Just having a wreck of a day for that 78 team. Let's see if we can get his draft, though, and pull around him. That'd be nice. We're going to have to go around him on the... I side. Stay high, stay high. Not exactly where I wanted to meet up with him, but it worked out. He tried to draft with us. We we're just too fast. Still gaining on uh, Perez and Malone. We gained a couple tenths on Perez. That's good. Yeah, we continue to do so. This is a big deal for us because Malone is that fifth place we need to get to to get that incentive bonus. And I think because of the longer runs and the lap traffic, we actually have a shot at doing those things in this race. So that's nice. It's kind of a quick first stage. 22, 22 laps in stage one. Gotta come off the gas. Just be patient. It's fine. Yeah, we probably could have caught Perez if we had caught 
stout at the right time there, but it didn't work out for us, so. Perez looking to make a move, though, on Malone, as lap traffic had helped him gain up on Malone. We've got one lap to go, and there's a possibility as we have caught the draft that we can be sucked up and maybe be looking for that type of position as well. If we time this right, we can go on the inside of Oliveira, lap traffic. Get around Perez. That was nice because of the lap traffic. He was definitely slowed down there. So we go into turn four, a little hot. As I was hoping to get a big run on Malone, it did not work. We'll go ahead after stage number one. We'll take home a sixth place finish. Not too shabby for the first stage of the race. Clean racing all around. We gained a spot. Our pit crew was better than Matt Malone's. We're sitting in fifth, starting stage number two. We've got rival Max Koss in front of us. Not much I can do about that. Obviously, the goal is to avoid him and try to help that relationship, but as you're well aware, it just hasn't worked out for us. At this point, though, we're going to drive our way up into third position simply by being in this draft. We're not going to do that. That would be... Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened? I don't know why we just got super tight, shot us up the track, and now I'm in the middle of three wide. Please draft pull me in front of Chavez. Thank you. Whoa, what's going on with Chavez? He just... Chavez, huge wreck behind us, and I don't know what caused it. It was not us. We were with him, but all of a sudden, I don't know. There was a loud noise, and I don't think it was contact. We had kept the car straight. We'll have to look at it. We'll look at it after the race. Here we go, restarting. Koss and Bethel round out your top row, your front row. I could have gotten around Koss for sure, but he's... What am I supposed to do with this? He just slow. All right. Just gotta figure this out for a second. Hold on, please. Get some nice run there. That was really nice, actually, for us. We're running this higher line. It's not exactly where I want to be. A little bit of contact. Gary Norton. We're okay. We're not, we're drive, racing side by side with Norton. We're not losing him. We're not, oh, we're gonna, looks like we're passing him a little bit now, but now we've got Egan to contend with. And uh, trying to use max cost draft actually, pull us around. That was a bad one and two for us. We're definitely much better suited to beat. Well, now they're, that's fine. It's all, it's all good, guys. It's all fine. 22 in the tank, 19 in stage number two, and now I got to figure out how to, well, 12 remaining. I must have 19 in the tank. I don't know what just happened. I made a bad mistake, though. Let's see if we can get back up to that pack. Because we got a bubble behind us. Like, we've got a bit of room behind us, and... See, eight tenths in front in the draft of each other. That's nice. That was good. That was good for us because we were in a bad spot. Hate to be on this outside, though. All right, let's see if I can scooch my way up in front. This outside lane is just driving me nuts. Let's... Get in behind Egan. Now get in on his inside. Got the draft in front of us. See if we can use that. Should be too wide coming out here. Oh, Egan with a huge run. Stay on the bottom here. 
here. We're in Malone's draft. That's nice Still for back. now. Would really love to be able to use this draft to get around Koss. I don't. Koss seems to have more speed than Malone down the straight, though. Now we get into line. All right. Well, we're in fifth, so that's not terrible. But of course, I would like this to run a little bit longer so that we can try to take the spots away. We got to run on the inside, but I don't think it's going to help us once we get on the straightaway. Malone's in the draft. He's going to pull right past us. We'll get right in behind us. Him not to lose the speed that we were about to lose. And again, ooh, that's on me. Little contact. Little contact. I came completely out of the gas to try to avoid it, but. Oh, we're running right back up with them. We're going to start stage three with a long speed up. So we're just running stage one and two this way. It's been fairly exciting, so we'll keep it. Oh, I didn't come off the gas enough. Thankfully, we slowed down enough not to run into Matt. Yeah, we're a long run car. It said it even in the setup. It's like it's fast, but it's also a long run. We're I mean, we're in the top five. We don't have a hundred rated car, so that's good. Because some of these cars are top notch. Um, oh, wow, caution came out. We'll take five. We lost a spot on pit road. Costin Malone got two spots. Bethel's still leading it. Running up through the gears real quick. Is that Shieldhouse? Hey, Shieldhouse in the top 10 right now. Good for him. just get that's weird because I do well, I guess we're not on the inside that's probably the problem mm. I know I said I was gonna speed it up but you know we're right in the thick of it so give it a second here's Tibber again chilled house right in front of us see if I can get a pull from him to get around Tibber again or no nope not enough wow okay well, let's have him go and get in the line and figure it out from there. What do we got? 25 in the tank. Ooh, Greg Galding partnering up with us. 55 in the race. So we got two pit stops left. That's not great. All right. Well, we're going to speed it up for the next 25 laps. And we'll be back when we pit. be Parker Smith could have been uh junior too not really sure who brought that out yeah I almost pit I'm not trying to pit right now uh could be Eliza Bethel no she might still be up there why did we all gain one spot was it shield house no he's right there I don't know who it was was it max cost 
Oh no! You hate to see it. It was cost, but you also love to see. Well, he might have pit though. He might not be out of it. We got a nice run. Holy crap! Ready to start this one off. Come right in behind Bethel and Gary Norton teams up with us. We'll have to check at the end of this stage if Max Cross is out of the race. I'm not really sure. It only helps our relationship if he is, if I'm being completely honest, though. Bethel and I have... And I'm going to work with her to just kind of drive away from everyone. What's, uh... 14 left in the tank. We'll be back, as I said, when we pit in a couple. Looks like uh, we're actually going to be able to, with this, probably get through the race with one more pit stop, so that's good. Alright, uh, we brought it around extra because we wanted to make sure we were going to have enough in it, and so that's what we're doing. We are a lap down right now because Max Cost has not pit. We're not the first car. Oh, there's, uh, Eliza. We're not the first car on the lead, or on a lap down, so we need to get this figured out as quick as possible. Let's see what I can do. See what we can do with 25 to go. Hopefully the cars that are still out will pit soon and we won't have to worry about them. We gotta catch up to Eliza. We're able to stick with her most of the time that we were running. We got a decent set of, uh, we got decently in front of everybody else, multiple seconds in front of everybody else. So I think if, I think once this cycles through, we have a chance to be in second place, but of course we want to be better than second and Bethel, Bethel is actually driving away. So not great for us. Although long run car, if this stays green, we should be all right. We should be all right. We are gaining on Alfredo, who is technically in seventh right now, but he was a last place car earlier, so. Gaining on some of the cars that I think pit. Yeah, I know they pit when the caution came out earlier. So they got about probably 10 laps left before they pit. And they're, of course, hoping that there are no cautions. But if they pit, we'll all be on the lead lap and we'll all be right where we need to be because the leader will pit being Max. Yeah. Wow, Bethel just driving away without us having that draft. We don't have the engine to stay with her. That's not to say we won't catch her. As tire wear comes into play as well, we got that 
suspension upgrades so our tires stay better longer. Car feels amazing. It's felt great all race. We've been very much pick and choose where we want to go on the track. Unless I miss the turn, which I've done a couple times, but nothing that's been terrible. Um, yeah, we're gaining on Alfredo very quickly, and I'm hoping I can start using some of these some of these other cars that are lapped down um, that are on the track in front of us. I'm hoping that we can get behind them and use their draft to help pull us up to Bethel some. That'd be nice. Right now, she's going to catch Alfredo pretty quick. And then that's what's going to be between us and her again. But we've got... Is this Kenseth in front of us, potentially? He is... Hopefully going to help us pull up. That's not Kenseth, is it? Yeah, it is. And on the inside. Even down, yeah. Josh Berry. Inside through the quad oval. Can't do much here with Sammy Smith because obviously we're in the turn, but we'll get a nice drive off. He's going to get into our trap. Math is right here. Here's Alfredo. He's actually four position. We need a top five, so if stuff goes wrong, we could, we could be in for it, but I don't think it's going to. Bradshaw Stout, he is for position. He's a little bit in front of us. Bernardo de Oliveira. So these are cars that all pit when that caution came out because they were at the back of the pack anyway, so nothing bad could actually happen to them. And it really hasn't, which is good for them. We'll go around the outside of Stout. Start to work on Oliveira. And it looks like Bethel was able to get through that little pack of cars in front, so that kind of sucks for us because I thought we'd really have a chance to gain on her some there. There it is. So Cost's going to go into the pits. That's going to definitely negatively impact him. Are any of these other cars going in right now? No, they are not. They're going to be going in soon because they're from, like carpenters for position. Emmerich drafting with us for just a moment. Junior, he's 10 seconds in front of us. Will he be pitting soon? Not yet, but at what point will he be? We're gaining on him, though, pretty quickly. We're not gaining on Bethel, which is not great. Casey Kane leading this one now. Congratulations to him for as long as he stays out. Bethel is, was 2.8. We gained a little bit. Are we now equalizing with our tire wear to her more advanced engine? As Kane and Junior both pit, and now it's me and Bethel 1-2 again. Do we have it in us to catch her? Was it the lap traffic that had stunted her or slowed her progress? Not sure. We're about to find out as we have nothing preventing her now from just driving away with this one again. A second race in a row. She's led most of the laps in this one so far. I mean, that's, that's great for her, really. It's a great job. That team has been fighting for it for a long time, so to be able to come through and... Uh, put in two amazing races in a row. That's a that's a huge deal. Alright. Go in the middle here. Get around oh, Brennan Poole. He got, rid, you're clear there. got Espinoza. 
front of us. Running the middle line for us now. We'll take Espinosa. I mean, you can just see how lovely this car really has been all day. Just really great the whole time. Too bad we don't have the speed, I don't think, to catch Bethel because we certainly had the car. The only thing that could happen is a late race caution and we get that uh, drive off the line, get in front of her and hold her off, but otherwise she's driving away. Without the draft, she's driving. Without me having the draft. Oh, I don't know. We're getting that 10th back going through one and two. We're getting another 10th just now. I'm gaining two or three tenths a lap. We could, uh, <laughs> we could make this a race at the end. I'm keeping an eye on that for sure. Okay, gain another tenth there. We gain another tenth here, or is that pretty much just a one tenth thing going on? I don't know. Oh, we gained another tenth there. Do we have enough time, though? We need 12 laps at this stage. Oh, we gained another tenth there. We only have nine to go. We need to gain more than a couple tenths a lap then. I mean, not really, but somewhat. Hmm. Work it! Trying to push it really hard. We gained nothing on that lap. So we'd have to have her mess up big time for us to gain anything. I think I pushed it too hard. We actually did poorly because of it. Yeah, I messed up big time there. We actually lost the tent there. Ah! I think it's going to be a Bethel victory. Two races in a row unless something really changes here. Huge shout out to her again. We're, we're gaining a little bit again, but it's just going to be too little too late. With seven laps left. I don't know, though. We got lap traffic up there. I, it's possible. Will she get around them with ease or will, because they're side by side, will it slow her down enough for us to make a run? She's looking around. Oh, no. Why is she pitting? I'm not. I'm not pitting. I'm not pitting. Wow. So she drops back to seventh, pitting late. We have the fuel. No problem. Oh, she did not. She pit two laps before us, remember? She didn't have the fuel. I didn't even know about it. I didn't even think about that. We're driving away. Max costs all the way up to fourth because of that, though. I mean, that's dangerous for us. But I don't know. I forgot she didn't have the fuel. That's crazy. That changed everything. Go, so was she going to have to pit? Under green, probably. Because she was just a couple laps short. There were no cautions until that last one. Wow, that's crazy. Also extraordinarily unlucky for her. And that whole team. I was already giving out congratulations. Um, but <laughs> we are one lap away from congratulations coming to us. Max Cross has made his way up to second place. Not a big fan of that, but as it stands right now, he's still wow, he's gaining on us. He's a half second behind though. We only have two turns left to go. So let's just not mess those up. And we'll walk away with a victory. Wow, he is definitely gaining on us. Wow, that's crazy. If we had one or two more laps, we would have absolutely had to defend. But instead, we're going to bring it home. 
for the victory at Charlotte. I just realized it's all reverse right now. <laughs> Burn it down, boys and girls. Yeah. That's nice. That's a very nice. Do a nice little right in front. Burn it out right in front of the Coca-Cola 600. That's going to be run in the next episode. The longest race that we, the channel will have seen thus far. Gotta blow the engine. And <laughs> we've got the steam coming out. And there we go. Success. The engine is blown. We'll pull that right out on the 600. And there you have it. Burned it down, folks. Burned it down. Top five, Tony Savoy, Max Cost, Lane Tibbergen, uh, David Schildhaus gets a top five. Good for him. And Eliza Bethel did make her way back up from seventh to fifth after having to pit late in this one. There is our generic Xfinity trophy. Hopefully we get to see the Coca-Cola 600 trophy in the next episode. That means we will have one here in the Cup Series as well. Fastest lap goes to Max Cost, 29.895. Eliza Bethel leads the most, lap 73 of 100. On the move, Dale Jr. started last, finished mid-pack. Tough break, Matt Malone starts first, finishes 34th. But we got our incentive contract, so that's good. Ah, oh, love you, Casey, but I wish that other people had sent me messages. All right, the team has momentum. That's great. That momentum does carry over to... The Coca-Cola 600, we're going to have a 10% speed boost. That's going to be huge for us. And I'm hoping with our first place in the series, we can continue our dominance and get our fourth. Is it our fourth or fifth win of the season? Seventh win of the season? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, though, um, we also want to be out front so that we don't have to be around the drivers that hate us because the more races we go over, by not being around those drivers, the better shot we have at repairing bad relationships overall. But folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I'd like to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.